Good day, my friends. My name is Tracy Repchuk, and I'm the host of Reach Millions TV, an entrepreneurial lifestyle and learning channel, where I will educate and introduce you to some of the greatest powerhouses in their fields. As an entrepreneur for over 37 years, I've had the good fortune to appear in Forbes over 27 times, speak in 39 countries, appeared on NBC, ABC, CBS, Fox, won awards from the Senate, the Assembly, the White House, and President Obama, written nine number one bestsellers. And from that journey, I reached millions with my message. So I wanted to show you and introduce you to the people that can help you to find more leads, make more sales, and reach millions with your message. You can find out more about me at tracyrepchuk.com and reachmillionsacademy.com. Today we have an exciting topic, sales funnel made simple, how you make money while you sleep. One of my favorite topics because this is the cornerstone to really how I built my business uh, in the internet marketing arena almost uh, 20 years ago now. So how did it all begin? And I, I'll take you a little bit through my story. And how it began for me successfully was with a landing page. Prior to this moment, I was struggling. I was attempting to you know, make money by reaching out, follow up, things of that nature. And it was very unpredictable until I learned about the technology of the landing page. This is literally one of the most important steps that you can add to your business. And it's so important. Uh, it has been the first step for almost every client that I've onboarded um, for the past 20 years. And again, the important part here is I'm sure you've heard about a landing page by now. I mean, when I started talking about it, people really had no idea what that was but they're called landing pages, squeeze pages, doorway pages, things of that nature, right? But here's the most important part of all of this. And that is that you understand the why. If you're told to add a landing page and in fact, you, you have one built even, um, or you build one yourself. Um, if you don't understand the why you are using it, you're, you're going to not use it. And I'm gonna touch on this a little bit in a minute as well. And at that moment, you really don't have a landing page. And so you're not leveraging the true benefits and gains of this technology. And again, if you don't believe it's important, when you need to send traffic to it, you won't. You're going to find somewhere else to send it. And that's a big mistake. And I'm going to cover that in a minute as well. So a landing page is a one page website and it has one purpose and that is to get the name and the email address of a prospect. That's it, right? So they'll come to the site, they'll enter in and then they will provide you with their name and their email address. And this is an important moment because this is where the communication cycle begins for you. Otherwise, uh, you have situations where they come to a site, leave, and you have no idea who they were. When somebody opts in, as it's called here, that means they have a real um, need for what you have. People aren't just kind of giving out their name and their email address anymore. In the beginning, uh, going back 20 years, people were doing it all the time. But now with so many people leveraging this technology, people are far more um, careful about what they're doing so that they're not inundated with, you know, uh, emails. And so this is why it's important for you to be able to attract them effectively. So why must you have one? I'm going to go over kind of uh, some major elements um, as to why you need this technology. Because again, anyone can tell you to get a landing page and in fact, teach you how to perhaps do one. There's a hundred tools. I recommend um, some great ones that will allow you to even get free um, ability to create these pages. But the thing is, if you don't understand the why and you don't understand the, the background, you are just going to bypass it. So let's take a look at some of the reasons why. 
The first is to build community and relationships. This is that area where you're going to be able to educate and enlighten and nurture and be able to communicate to them and, of course, invite them to respond um, back to you. Um, it's, it's far different, of course, than the ability to, you know, as you're communicating on social media. In this situation, you're really educating them in a controlled manner. You're controlling the communication that goes to them. And you're really helping to keep them, you know, kind of focused on, on what it is. And plus, it, it allows you to really educate in a way that they start to see cumulative value. And that starts to build a relationship to the point actually where they know you and they feel like they, they uh, can really reach out to you and, and build that relationship. The second reason you need a landing page is for positioning. So this is about you creating, again, back to that community, pulling people in, you becoming the influencer, um, you becoming that, you know, person who is providing them with the resources, the content, the education, um, and the uh, information that they need to remedy whatever problem it is that they're trying to solve. In my case, right, I, I'm help you with your marketing for your business. So I'm helping you to, you know, identify uh, weaknesses in your business. I'm helping you to create a better um, environment and, and get more business growth and prospects and leads and conversions and things of that nature. So that's the positioning for me. For you, maybe you deal with relationships. And so you're positioning yourself as a leader in that field. This allows you to really pull in pocket people um, that become, you know, part and parcel of your list. It's very important to be able to build this list because that will allow you to be able to predict income. Um, you know, a lot of times, you know, if you have a thousand people in your list, right, then you know, perhaps that you can make, you know, um, whatever, 60, 70, $80,000 off of thousand people through the history of your conversions. And this is why, again, it's kind of an important thing because of the, the ability for you to track and monitor details such as that. And this pulls us to the third reason is you're able to track your promotional activity. When you are going on um, webinars or when you're appearing on podcasts or TV shows or um, sending out uh, things like a postcard is something that we do, for example, then you're going to be able to know where do they go, what landing page, what drove them there. When I do events, I'll set up some specific landing pages for that event so that I know I'm able to say, okay, I went to X event, you know, I got 80 people into my um, landing page, which means that I have 80 new prospects that I can um, nurture and educate and enlighten and build that relationship with. And that allows you to expedite a sale. When you're just randomly out there saying, hey, you know, I'll go here or check out my site, um, you have no idea if that was successful. If you're ever sending to your master website, that can turn almost immediately into not only an epic fail because you can't monitor who came, who saw, what are they looking at, right? Um, but you're, you're going to be unable to really trace the lineage of statistics from, I spent $5,000 on that promotion. And, you know, if you're sending to your website, great. Oh, I got, you know, whatever, uh, you know, let's say 30,000 hits to your site. Yay. What did that get you in sales? You may not be able to track and trace that at that moment. If you've got any because sending to your master website is overwhelm, right? They go, they see, they, they go maybe with this 
um, focus of getting something that you're offering on your promo piece. But if they see other things, that's it. They've immediately um, uh, distracted, right? They're immediately distracted. And from that moment, they're going to uh, perhaps go down a rabbit hole and not accomplish the call to action that you wish for them to make. The other reason this is really important is you need to know if you spent $10,000 on a campaign, a direct mail out, a billboard, whatever, well, what was the 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 number of opt-ins, what was the number of people then that maybe booked a discovery call or clicked to a product to look at it? And then what was the number of buyers? Without this understanding, you don't know not only was that campaign successful or a failure, but you um, also don't know whether you should repeat it. And that's the key, especially if you're going to start to deal with online promotions such as ads. You need to know if you're about to spend 10 grand, you make 20 grand, right? You need to understand the flow lines of this. And it's extremely difficult to track without kind of these elements in between, you know, and and so that's why it just becomes um, important to be able to trace that. And again, in this situation, if I'm doing a postcard in particular, I'm sending to a landing page. And so PowerfulPracticeResults.com is one of our landing pages. On average, it takes seven touch points to make a sale, right? So let's say you go to an event, you get that business card, or you talk to somebody, or you attend a Zoom call, and there's 30 people on it, and you got 30 seconds to say something. What you drive people to at that moment is key to the success of that endeavor. And here's why. If you don't send them to a landing page, let's say by your talk or by whatever it is that you're handing out, or whatever it is that you're saying, then they're going to go to your website or even do nothing. You don't know. But let's say you take that that business card and you bring it home. The average person follows up twice and only 2% follow up more than three times. So without proper follow-up, that means 98% of your sales are getting left behind. So that means that the majority of the time you've spent, whether it's prospecting physically in a networking situation or even online through LinkedIn and Facebook and and, um, other tools that are available out there, then that's going to tell you, um, you know, if you don't follow up more than that once or twice, which most people don't because time is your greatest resource then you're going to find that um, you're just not getting sales, right? And so this is a big deal. When you put it on autopilot, when you send them to a landing page and that email marketing nurture campaign kicks in, um, then it does the work. And by the time somebody reaches out to you, they're already a hot prospect now. Um, and so that means they can, you can get those seven to 12 touch points in so that um, by the time they get to you, they feel like they, again, know, like, and trust you. This is a common theme through this entire process. Um, the next reason why a landing page is so important is it, it is that mechanism that allows you to make money while you sleep and play. (laughs) Um, And this is important because otherwise you will never have a way to scale. You won't have a way to uh, break free from always being somebody who is doing the work, doing the work, and therefore getting paid, right? Uh, It's just an important way for you to set up that, whether it be passive income, recurring income, or income that is generated through effective automation sequences, Uh, you know, therefore the landing page, the autoresponder, sending to a sales page, sending to a video, a webinar, whatever it is. When you have all of that pre-built, that means that your time is spent on the more important tasks within your business, growth, strategy, prospecting, you know, um, or, or maybe on the high end deals, sales closing, right? It is of that or, and last but not least, the delivery of what it is once a prospect has become a client or customer. 
So it's important for you to free up any time that you can, and that is done through this technology. Uh, the next reason why uh, you want a landing page is it gives you your freedom. I talked about this a little bit. This was the piece that opened up again. When it opens up your time to be able to be spent elsewhere, one of those choices is, especially when money is automatically generating, one of those elements you can do is spend more time on your freedom, spend more time with your family, your spouse, on yourself, a spa days, traveling, um, whatever it is that you want. And that gives you the ability for you to tap into the reason you became an entrepreneur. So many times, right? We, we, start business as an entrepreneur and realize we got us ourselves stuck in the lowest paying job on earth. You know, you're working 80, 90, a hundred hours a week and you're making whatever a thousand dollars if that, right? So many people I encounter are in that scenario um, when you're starting off. And this is why the faster you implement this technology, the more, um, uh, the, quite frankly, the faster you're going to get the results that you're looking for because the automation foundation is built. Um, here's the other thing too. If an opportunity comes along where you can get a massive influx of um, prospects, whether that be through doing a webinar, whether that be through appearing on someone's podcast or getting an actual TV appearance like I've had, um, all of these elements could bring a massive influx of people. How are you going to handle that? You can't without this technology. Uh, so it's important that you uh, understand that this is freeing up your time to do what you need to be doing. And the other reason it's really important is it gets a prospect focused on the right stuff. It also gets, you know, customers and clients. Um, focused on the right stuff. When you send somebody to a landing page, they have one choice. Give me your name and your email address or go away. That's it, right? Um, and, and, in, and if you send them to your website, well, they can go and check out a video. They can, you know, see what programs you have. They can poke around. They can learn more about you. And none of that is a bad thing except if you don't know who they are. And that's why once somebody comes into your funnel, they give you their name and their email address, you still keep their attention focused on that thank you page. It's important that you lead them to that next logical step that you want them to take. It's following the yellow brick road to kind of your, your sales cycle, right? And, and then you can send them to your master website after and they can learn more about you, poke around, check out all the programs or, or products that you have. Um, but at least you'll be able to constantly come back and communicate to them in a drip feed chunk, bite sized kind of chunk way that they can consume it because most websites are not consumable to the point of um, overwhelm, right? And then they leave. Um, it works 24-7. Uh, this goes back to the ability for you to achieve and accomplish your freedom lifestyle and for you to be able to uh, make money while you sleep, right? It, this is like cloning your best salesperson and you've implemented the best sales script. And of course, they, it works 24-7. That's why oftentimes on a thank you page, you'll either have a video inviting them to a discovery call, or you will actually have a video talking about perhaps that, that major flagship product that you have um, and going right in for the sale. You've got a hot prospect seeking a problem and a solution to that then um, you might as well take advantage of that moment, right? Um, and so this is why it's key for you to implement. Um, without it, quite frankly, you're probably wasting time and money. 
Here's the normal sequence of a cycle when you're setting up in particular online technology, online business, moving your um, stuff online, right? Most people think, oh, I have a website. If I just drive traffic to it, everything's great. And the answer to that is um, no, it's not. For a couple of reasons, if that traffic is hitting a site that doesn't convert, doesn't invite, doesn't invoke a call to action, doesn't sell, quite frankly, you're, you know, you, you might as well be Coca-Cola, somebody with very deep pockets that's, that's kind of driving a brand <laughs> um, recognition. Again, not a bad thing, but a very expensive tactic. So you better have a lot of money. How the fastest way to the cash, I'll call it, goes is you have that vision. You kind of establish your brand because you need to identify who's your target market and what is the problem I'm going to solve for that tar target market based on what they're seeking, right? Then you build a landing page um, focused on resolving the problem that they're seeking, right? Then you build that email nurture campaign that allows them to, it allows you to drip feed content to them, bite-sized chunks, very consumable, and continues that educate, enlighten, and nurture cycle. Then it goes to that sales page. Now you're going to tell them about a product or a program that you have. Um, and, you know, and, and if they buy right away, great touch point one, we'll call it. If they don't, then that's okay. You have that email follow-up to start to go through the seven to 12 touch points. Then you can focus on some search engine optimized content through, um, blog posting, um, and really optimizing your keywords at every opportunity that you can. Then you're going to implement social media. You're going to get that, that um, brand awareness out there. You're going to invoke call to actions driving to your landing page. You're really going to start to build um, that uh, you know, outreach to more people to bring them and tighten them in further and deeper into your community. Then you're going to add that traffic. Now you're going to pour the, you know, the fuel on the fire. Um, and, and now it's going to have that opportunity for you to already have statistics on, Hey, if this many people hits the landing page, this many opts in this many clicks and this many buys with statistics like that, it goes back to what kind of traffic can you do? Can you afford ads now? Can you afford direct mail? Can you afford to, um, implement some um, other strategies? Can you maybe develop your own TV show and drive to it? These are all things that I do. Um, but, you know, the, the foundation was built before I jumped on the traffic train. Um, it also allows for systemized prospecting. So here's the thing. Let's say you're out in LinkedIn or you're on Twitter or you're in Facebook or you're in Instagram. You're building a community there. Nothing wrong with that. The key is you must drive that community to your landing page. And here's the main reason why. You don't own any of these platforms, right? They are literally pools of people for you to engage with and then move into your landing page, move into your funnel, move into your list, right? And because if Twitter all of a sudden says one day or LinkedIn all of a sudden says one day, I don't like you, I don't like your post, I don't like what you've said, there you've breached our terms of service, boom, they shut your account. If that was your major community, your major resource for how you convert people, you're done, it's over right? You've literally shut the income artery of your company. And, and I don't say this casually. I say this from experience, not my own, thank God, but uh, because I've been driving to a landing page from the day I started a business. Um, what, what I encounter is with clients when they have, have kind of remained solid on a social media platform under the belief that they were important on that platform or to that platform. And then one day YouTube says, don't like you, boom, you're gone, right? 
Um, and then an artery is shut off. And if you were not driving them to your landing page, then you can't control your income line. You can't predict your income. You can't control the communication. All of these things are to your detriment without driving them to your own list. And here's the other thing. Why are companies like LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, any of the social media platforms out there worth billions of dollars? The answer is the list, right? It's because of the number of people in their database. So if you don't have anyone in your database, right, influence is great and people out there are great. But when somebody goes to buy your company, you can say all you want. I have 30,000 followers on LinkedIn and 100,000 followers on Instagram. They're going to say, who do you have in your database, right? How many purchasers and how many prospects are in your database? That's what people buy is the list. And so if you're not building your own, it's to a very great cost to you. Now, here's the biggest landing page errors. Not having one. You have just ignored this this entire technology. You don't like it. You've got your master website. You're happy. You've got an opt-in page maybe on your uh, master site where you're asking for name and email address, which quite frankly has a 0.0002% uh, conversion on average because of the distraction, right? The other one is having one and bypassing it. For example, you've maybe invested in getting a landing page built for you. And it's great. It's good looking. It's got the thank you page optimized. It's got a one-time offer. It's got the email nurture campaign. But every time you go out there, you either afford afraid of driving them away from your IE Tracy Repchuk.com site. And so you're afraid to say, go to fastactionresults.com. That comes off my tongue to everybody I talk to. I don't drive anybody to my master site. That's a waste of time. I will send them there after and they can find out more about me. But for now, I need people in the funnel and I need to be able to establish that communication line. And if you have spent the money and built one, shame on you. It, it means that you're missing out on something you knew to be correct by actually getting it. Um, giving multiple options. Here's the other thing I see all the time. Somebody will say, my landing page isn't converting or my list isn't building. And I'm like, okay, let me take a look at it. And guess what I see on there? Hey, you can opt in or you can click here and go to my website or you can click here and go to my social media or you can click here and take a look at my product or program or service or something. Or you can click here and go to a discovery call. You gave them multiple options. You gave them an out from opting in. Huge error. I told you, a landing page does one thing gives you the name and the email address of a prospect and nothing else. They either come through the door or they go away and you need to be okay with that. And then last but not least, having it as part of your master site and kind of believing that you have a landing page. So a lot of times people will build a landing page concept within their master site and say, hey, go to tracyrepject.com forward slash free gift or something, right? And then when they get there, all of the navigation still exists. If you're doing this and you've pulled off the navigation, at least that is the correct action. Because why? You're not giving them multiple actions. But if I go to that free gift page and now I see I can watch a video or I can do this or I can whatever, right? I'm distracted and I'm gone. And so here's just a couple of landing page samples, fastactionresults.com, bestmortgageguarantee.com, theperfectpt.com. Those are just a few of the sites that we have built. And of course, you saw the um, powerful practices, one from above. So this is the missing ingredients often to the successful implementation of a company. You have your landing page. It goes to a thank you page. That thank you page gives them the free guide and gives them an opportunity to click and take a look at a perhaps a one-time offer if that is a low-priced option. 
If you are a high ticket seller, then you really want to send them down to a discovery call. And of course, we now have the benefits of the autoresponder drip feed campaign, so important. And then you recommend your service. So the master formula goes from identify the problem, agitate it, provide a solution, and give a call to action. There are many elements to the landing page, but here's the key ones. Identifying the problem, you need to be clear, identifying the target market and specificity sells, which means, you know, improve your practice in 90 days by 5X, right? The next is you focus that attention to one problem and you provide the solution, which is that free gift that they want, right? And here are just some examples of free gifts, spicy titles that entice. So it, it's a landing page. It's the three steps to increase your sales. When you follow up in the first 60 seconds, it increases conversions by 320%. That is what that first email out the door can do. 80% of sales are made between the fifth and 12th contact. And if you're only doing one or two, that's why you're spending all of this money, which of, of which 80% of a company's money is spent on customer acquisition at the front end. And you're not converting them because you're not following up enough. So let this system quantum leap follow up, help you to do that. This is where we build everything for you and then continue to uh, guide you on your journey. So if you're interested in this, head to book review now. Let's take a look at what you have and how I can help you. Or if you just want a free gift, head to my landing page at fastactionresults.com.